Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this video is no fun and games. I'm not gonna do a little funny intro because this video is quite serious. It is actually mind boggling to me that no one in this space is talking about this. And people are actually going on to create agencies that are just prime for failure. They're actually shooting themselves in the foot by not applying some of the stuff that I'm gonna cover in this video today. It's gonna take me around three to five minutes to make my point. So if you don't have that time, you can go ahead and click away. But what I can assure you is that applying the principles that I'm gonna cover in this video is gonna save you a lot of cash, a lot of pain, and a lot of unhappiness when building your agency. And all in all, it's just gonna make it a much more successful and robust agency that is prime for longevity and that will actually generate you a lot of cash and not just be a one-trick pony that might sign a few clients here and there and might make you a bit of money, but will die off very, very soon and will leave you very, very unhappy. So really excited for this video because I think a lot of you have to hear this message. And quite frankly, I wish I'd seen a video like this when I just started out uh, because quite frankly, it is mind boggling to me. It is absolutely mind boggling to me that no one in the space is talking about this. And so without further ado, I'm going to go on the board and I'm going to walk you through three things that you need to keep in mind when building your agency. <laughs> Right here, as we can see, let me get my pen. As we can see, we've got a graph, okay? I'm gonna take you guys, um, I'm gonna take a lot of you back to sixth grade uh, math, but we've got in the Y axis, we've, we've got plan satisfaction, and in the X axis, we've got retention. Now, the first thing that I want you guys to keep in mind, let me see if I don't drop anything. Uh, the first thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that, and I've said this in, in the channel before, is that results aren't everything, okay? Now, the thing about results is, results are gonna come and go, right? Now, let's just assume that you start with a brand new account, so we start from zero, and then there's gonna be crests and there's gonna be troughs, okay? Just like this, okay? Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna look like this every single time, right? Uh, but especially in the e-commerce space, it, can, it tends to look like this. The reason why that is, is because there are certain external factors that are gonna play a role in our performance. I'm talking seasons, I'm talking trends, the social economic landscape even, uh, there's gonna be, for example, the current social landscape even. So there are so many external factors that are gonna play a role in, in our performance, okay? Now, the important thing, obviously, is that there's an upward trend, right? the trend is upwards, right? But there's gonna be crests and there's gonna be troughs. Now, the reason why this is also, and this leads me to, to the second point that I want you guys to keep in mind is that the thing about Facebook advertising and, and really any online advertising is that our inputs are not directly reflected with our outputs. Let me explain what that means. With, for example, Facebook advertising, right? There's you, or in your case, your media buyer, right? And then this does not lead straight to results, okay? What we have in the middle, what we have in the middle is the Facebook brain, right? The Facebook algorithm. So here we've got the Facebook algo, okay? Now the Facebook algorithm, unlike a lot of people actually think, uh, the Facebook algorithm wants to get you incredible results. Why? Because it wants to keep both its users as well as its advertisers very happy so that its advertisers keep spending money, right? But what we're actually doing as digital marketers and you know Facebook advertisers, we are actually playing to the biases of the Facebook algorithm. For example, we are using creatives that we know are gonna really work. We're using ad copies that we know are, are gonna really work. We're using targeting, for example, right? Whether you target for purchase, initiate checkout, add to carts, look like audiences, whatever it is, right? So we are doing everything that we can to make sure that the Facebook algorithm works in our favor and gets, gets us the results that we wanna get. Now that is all games are fun, but sometimes the Facebook algorithm doesn't quite behave like we want it to. Not only because of external factors like I, I just explained, but for example, if you're starting with a brand new account, it's gonna take the Facebook algorithm quite a bit of time to actually learn what the ideal customers are and how to actually find them in the cohort of people that you set as target, right? Because it's constantly trying to find the, the people that would buy from, a, from your brand in the cohort of people that you set as targeting, okay? Now it does actually take the algorithm them a bit of time to actually optimize quite well. That is why you should be signing your clients on for a two to three month uh, minimum, okay? So that is the Facebook algorithm. An analogy that I actually like to use is that you wanna imagine the algorithm as the horse and we wanna imagine ourselves as the jockey, okay? Now, as the jockey, we have a lot of control over the horse, right? And the jockey does have a massive impact on the success of a race, for example, but the horse also plays a big role, right? Is the horse even right? Is the horse rested enough, right? The jockey, for example, the jockey can beat the horse all at once, but if the horse is tired, it's not really gonna run very fast, right? And so that's you know that, that's really the idea that, that I want you guys to keep in mind. The fact that, look, we have a, a pretty big impact on results, 
But there's a, a little third guy, a little third party here that has a major role, right? And we need to understand the, the, the actual workings of the Facebook algorithm to get incredible results. The reason why I say that, and this leads me to the, the third part, is because there's one thing in our agency that we actually have complete control over, and that is client experience, right? We're not relying on any algorithm. We're purely relying on our brains, on the systems that we built, on the reporting ecosystem that we built for our clients, the way we communicate with, uh, with them, the way we show up with them. All this stuff has a direct correlation to results, okay? And let's just call it uh, client experience, okay? So that has a direct correlation to results. Things like, for example, uh, reporting sheets, uh, communication, uh, client calls, monthly performance reports, daily support, etc, etc. All this stuff has a major role in whether they're really happy or whether they're not happy. And so the really cool thing about client experience that I personally absolutely love is that you have complete control over it and you can keep it at a steady 100, at a steady 8 throughout the whole partnership. Okay? And so you guys can clearly see that while, for example, results can come and go, there's, there can be troughs and crests, right? We can keep uh, client experience at a steady 8 gaining this whole this whole area of client satisfaction okay over our retention rate over our time with them right and the really cool thing is while you're going through i'm going to use green for this while you're going through this trough a trough is basically when we're going down right so when there's a downward trend uh, and we're not really getting them incredible results maybe because there was some external factor or maybe we just launched a, uh, a campaign that wasn't quite successful and that can happen as advertisers right uh, there will be campaigns that flop there will be campaigns that are just massive winners okay so while we're going through this downward trend which could be 15 days it could be maybe a month right while we're going through this trend we still have this amazing client experience right we still, we still, we still have this to take care of us, and that is what differentiates the really successful agencies from the ones that don't really keep their clients for a long time. Because sure, it's all fun and games. I don't know how many times I've said that sentence in the video, but it's all fun and games when you're when you're at a at a crest and when you're getting them incredible results. But when you're going through these troughs, which are actually completely normal, right? When you're going through these uh, troughs, this is what actually takes care of, you. and that is why my agency has a 14-month retention rate. And I say that a lot but it's because I want you guys to understand just the, the insane uh, focus that I've put on, on this and just the insane bliss that you can gain from having really, really good client experience. Uh, why? Because you have complete control over this. And if you guys are uh, familiar with the, the stoic uh, philosophy, we wanna make sure that we put most of our energy on the stuff that we have complete control over. Yes, with the algorithm, we can have a very large impact on the results or that, that we can get, but there's always gonna be that certain element that we can't quite control, right? And so. That's really what I want you guys to keep in mind. I could honestly talk about this for a very long time, but it's one of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind because you know, results can come and go, but if you have really good client experience, that is really what's, what's gonna take care of, of you guys. And that is why, for example, during this crisis, I didn't lose any client. Why? Because our client experience is just incredibly good. And for them, it's actually way more painful to get rid of this whole thing right here, which is our insane client experience, to maybe find an agency that can get them a bit better results. Because quite frankly, for them, it would be such a pain to just get rid of this whole client experience, which they know that very, very few agencies have better than, than us uh, at Mobile C. So that is that for this video. I think I covered quite a bit of ground here. Here. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this concept. I really hope you guys can see the value of this and, and just how important this is to build a very successful agency. Uh, just having incredible client experience and client satisfaction will keep your clients on for a very long time. And unfortunately, most agency owners don't even pay attention to this. And so if you are watching this video and you're one of those people that actually execute, they, they watch videos, but they don't just say, oh, this is cool and, and you know completely forget about it. They actually execute and take action. You are gonna be ahead of so many uh, agency owners who haven't even considered this, this whole side of, the, of their agency. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves when that thing uh, turns blue. So I would really appreciate it. Also leave down below any questions, any thoughts you may have on the client experience and, and this topic and this concept that I spoke about. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMMA with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. So if you don't wanna miss that out, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any videos. And the final thing is if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients, guys, there's nothing for sale in the video and just the feedback that I've been getting on it absolutely insane literally people implementing the stuff and signing clients so if you want to check that out go ahead and check out the link in the description and as always guys hope everything is going well in your agency journey and i'll speak to you in the next one peace